Hello and welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is No Sense by Kyle Littleton. If you're like me and you are constantly trying to up your game with a deck of cards, you want to be an expert, you don't just want to know a couple of tricks, you want to be really knowledgeable, then go and check out cardmagiccourse.com. It's my online resource. It is everything I know with a deck of cards. Uh, there's 180 plus videos on there and it's just had an overhaul. There's moves, theory, help with performance, and you can always email if there's something on there that you don't, uh, that you can't see, and I'll do what I can to create more content for you. So it's a really bespoke learning experience. Uh, so if you go through that from beginning to end, if you're a serious beginner or you're already established, you're going to know so much more than most people with a deck of cards. Uh, so cardmagiccourse.com and there are a few free previews on there. If you go on to Card Controls Volume 2, you'll get a free preview of the spread curl. Uh, and one more thing, very important, please like and subscribe down there. Hit the bell so you'll get notifications and don't forget to look in the comments bit at the end. There'll be all the links and the info you need on the product and of course the card course. Here's the review. This is the trick, you get out your little purse if you want. I know. Uh, and you show three half dollar coins and one at a time. The idea is that it's a no sense. It doesn't make any sense because if you're going to take coins that are already pretty useless because they're American half dollars, you wouldn't change them into something like a completely useless uh, English penny. And again, you wouldn't take that one and turn it into, sorry, you went off camera there, turn it into a, a I was going to say Chinese coin, but it isn't a Chinese coin, isn't it? You can go to China and spend that. Uh, so you've got a Chinese coin and the basically the uh, the English penny and if we take this one oops put it in there that turns into a button so there you go uh, sorry I just massacred that a bit but you've got the idea um, I saw I first saw Kyle perform this a lot better than that in uh, in the session in January and picked it up then and uh, I really, really liked it for a couple of reasons. It's quirky, it's different, um, and I like Coin Magic. I just really like Coin Magic, and it was Coin Magic presented in a different way. Uh, and I'll go—I mean, that's the trick. Um, I'll go straight into the pros and cons of it. I say, like I said, it does feel like a different kind of trick. You know, Coin Magic can take itself a little bit seriously, so I like the fact you've got this coin trick that gets a bit stupid and and if you if, if it performed properly the way Kyle performs it is very funny you know he does a bit of stand up i think and and there was that in it so it's very quirky very funny and he was kind of like it it's a it's a pointless trick which is lovely and i think that's one of the pros of it you know it's it's accepting really that a lot of magic tricks are pointless and that's okay you know that's what makes them fun so so you're acknowledging that uh, with this trick which i really really liked uh, I also like the fact that it's a strong effect. You know, when I took it out and showed it to someone today, it, it was, it's not a strong effect as in card to ceiling, how the, it's like, whoa, how, how did you, especially when you got no sleeves. What I noticed, uh, what someone said to me yesterday when I performed, they said, oh, it's really impressive because he got no sleeves. So it's like they kind of were looking for an answer and the only answer they could find was the one that wasn't possible, which is always quite a good, uh, a good sign, I think. Uh, and it's fun to learn. I really enjoyed learning this trick for one very good reason, and this may be the thing that puts some people off. I enjoyed learning it because it was really difficult. So this is a, this is a gaff coin set, and it, it involves a gaff that many of you, if you're coin people, would have, would have come across and, and used. And it's the sort of gaff that, as a coin magician, I probably should have used more, but I haven't really. I've done gaffless coin magic mostly. Uh, and this has made me practice using that gaff and I've enjoyed the challenge of that it's not something that I it's taken me a while to learn this you know, it's 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 been really I found it really fiddly and quite challenging and this is a good thing for me but isn't going to be a good thing for for some of people it depends how you approach your magic and there's no right or wrong with this I'm not judging anybody if you don't but this is something that if you're like me and you haven't used that kind of gaff before is going to take a while there's a bit especially the last phase which I've found quite awkward and quite difficult it's not like i can't do it but i can't do it and make it look natural and actually i think i've been working on it for quite a while now and i still don't think it looks natural so it's not an easy trick this is a sleight of hand magic trick the other thing is it is angrily this is something that works here and if someone's standing there 
you're going to expose everything. Now, I'm sure there are kind of weight, but I think I think you, it is a, a, a head-on thing. It doesn't mean it doesn't work in close-up. I think in certain situations, it's great for that strolling situation. But Kyle does this, he says, mostly in parlor and on stage. Um, so uh, for me, it's a bit small to take onto a big stage without cameras, but it's something to work, that's going to work really well with a small audience with good lighting. They're going to see the thing and it and it's they're not going to see the coziness as much when you when you're on stage. And to me, that's the the one negative about that, other than it being quite difficult to learn, which to me is a positive. To some, is going to be a negative. This one for me is it's it's got this kind of hanging coins coziness to it. It all kind of happens here. Now, when Kyle does this, it looks very natural because he does it so well. You know, he's come up with a thing. When I do it, it's all a bit kind of like, you know, the end, the end bit looks a little bit just too cozy and too like clawy. And that's and so I suppose that's linking into the last thing of saying it's it's not an easy trick to learn. But I think it's it's going to take me a while to make it look really smooth. Saying that. I've performed it today, I think quite badly in, in the, the cafe down the road to someone who actually hasn't seen any of my magic, so they're coming out onto it completely clean. Um, I said to her at the end, be totally honest, this is a trick I'm reviewing. So what, did, was there any point where you went, yep, yeah, and she went, I had no idea how it was done. It was really quirky and she said, I really liked the button thing at the end and like, how the hell did you do it? So that's good. So. I think this is a really nice, quirky addition to a set. It's small, you know, you can make a joke about the, the silly little person. This is a good cleanup, by the way. You can end really clean on this, even though you've got a dirty ending in a way. Once you put everything back in here, you're totally clean. So I don't think it's the trick that you're going to add that's going to wipe people out and get people coming up to you in a year's time going, how the hell did you make the coin turn into a button? But for me, magic isn't all about that. It's about finding those things that lead up to things. It's about finding those those little uh, those little peaks and troughs and those little really nice quirky things that people will remember you for and people will find cute and find different than just the standard stuff. So um, I really like it. It's flawed, you know, because it's so hard. Um, you know, you get your, they're not in there, but you get everything in a really nice package like that. It's not over expensive. So I think if you want to challenge and you want to do something a little bit different to quirk up your coin magic, um, have a look. It's a well-made trick. It's going to last you forever. And that's No Sense by Kyle Littleton.